Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mystery Channel 33. I'm here to help solve more missing women, shooting and men cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive, deceased, body suit, exchange your identity or misidentity. Y'all should know who's involved, the white supremacists, the African Americans, and the um, immigrants. So let's begin. This is a male named Jean Inman from California. California run for the rest of this month. This is how he looks. He look like a he look like um Napoleon from that movie Napoleon Dynamite. Okay. He disappeared on January the sixteenth, nineteen ninety three. He has been missing for thirty one years. Location: Running Springs, California. Age seventeen. Age now forty eight. Race: White. Sex: Male. Height: Six three. Weight: Two hundred pounds. He classified as in danger missing. I'm hearing yes. John Christopher Eyman was a teenager who vanished from the Sea-Do School, a boarding school for special needs children. No, I, I, I also remember you from um the Unsolved Mystery. Yes, I see you from on all. It was on the Unsolved Mystery. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember I showed y'all that Unsolved Mysteries where he did leave, but I felt like, like I told my class, I, felt, I like I told my family, I felt like somebody killed him. Um, but yes, he did this like in the show. They showed that he like vanished, like literally he just vanished. So a white supremacist probably got him, cause they had that. That also mean that also what it means when they say vanished. Like you just be walking and you just vanish out of thin air. Like literally they had the scene. That was a real clip too. Like he just vanished out. Real, no, oh my God. That's, I oh my God. I I was so scared for the rest of the night, y'all. So yes, okay, this is true. Okay, in 1993, two of the boys, Blake Pussley and Daniel Union, went missing from the, from the same school in 1994 and 2004, respectively. I'm hearing yes. His, his characteristics is brown hair, blue eyes, he wears glasses, he has fillings and dental crowns, he has a scar on his abdomen, he has a shunt in his skull. I'm hearing yes. If he does not take medication, he has seizures. He did not have any medication with him when he vanished. The sources is from the Charlie Project, Name Us, M NCMEC, and the Doe Network. Okay. You like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame of the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And to the real families of these victims, corporate America will set you up. Thank you. Peace. Be safe.